Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Charles Young, back at you again. Follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's OpenThoughts.com. Also, if you're on um, Gmail, you can follow me on Blogspot.com. My Facebook and Twitter will be at the link below. Um, so today, I kind of want to just talk about a small video, um, how I use, um, how I build my affirmations. I know a lot of time we've heard that, you know, you just got to envision in your head, but sometimes that's hard. Some people can't envision that inside their head. So what I did was I wanted to comprise a video of certain techniques that I actually use when I'm making, creating an affirmation that I want to desire. One of them is, one of the main ones that I do, do use is believing in it, understanding it, um, putting in my head, a lot of the times I had use um, um, pictures, you know, to uh, um, put forth what I want to accomplish and what I want to achieve. Um, so another one is I actually learned that, you know, it's better to write with your left hand. It's better to write with your left hand or your affirmations. Now, writing with your left hand is very easy. It's a very easy technique. It takes about 30 days to actually learn. You know, they say it takes 21 days to change, but it takes about 30 days to actually learn. I actually just was looking things for affirmations and the guy said, if you use your left hand, um, it'll be better off because it connects to your creative side of your brain. And we already know that your left is right, right is left when it comes to your brain. Using affirmations, they really work. They really help you. They really help you achieve a lot of your um, uh, your goals and your visions and your dreams and the information and things come to you faster when you have this set up. Um, another thing is about affirmations is I realized that when they come to you, the fastest is when you put them out there and you basically forget about them because it gives your brain time to work on them. Sometimes, you know, we push and push. Oh, I want this. I want this so bad. I want this so bad. Well, what you have to do is you have to put it out there with a desired heart, a desired mind, a focus on it, and then just leave it alone and go after it and find your best ways. And even the universe sends you ways and people to help you achieve that goal faster. And you won't even realize it until the point that you've already obtained the uh, your goal or your dream or whatever um, materialistic thing that you wanted at that time. So let me show you some of the ways that I actually do my affirmations. All right, so this is one of my um, vision boards that I actually use as a goal. I, I created I like to put my affirmations in front of me so I can see certain things I want to achieve. Um, a lot of different stuff. I wanted to, you know, get the body that you want, you know, my my business, uh, what I want to accomplish, the cars I want. Also, you know, looking at things, um, stuff I need to write down because those are part of my goals and my visions as well. I have them right here. I always use this. This is a nice chart to to actually use as you write down what you want to accomplish and then you find things that the small goals in between what do you need to do to obtain that or maintain that or obtain that goal to the best of its ability so you know as right here I'm, I write down what I want and then I write down some information under it um, write down the main focus and then what is some information under it that I want that that will help me achieve that certain goal so I use that a lot of the times and this wall is always filled up with new ideas it's been filled up tons and tons of times because I always have new ideas hey so um another technique that I use I like to use is um writing with um, your left hand writing affirmations out I enjoy writing um, I'm starting to enjoy writing a lot so what I've learned though is writing your affirmations with your left hand you actually can feel it in your brain actually almost computing the information and it's pretty amazing so if you're if you're a right handed and you want to stay the right hand that's fine as well just do it um, but for me as I learned to use my left hand uh, it also helped me you know writing with both hands and being able to multitask a little bit better and also learned a lot I probably was left handed because I write better with my left hand as you can see so this is actually I can show you looks like chicken scratch right now but this is actually a better handwriting it's actually actually better handwriting so y'all know I'm telling the truth um, 
is me first writing with my left hand. And what I usually do is I write a lot of I am statements. I don't write any things like don'ts and can'ts and don't want to. I just write I am statements. So here, so I'll just write uh, I am a motivational speaker. Whatever. Motivational speaker. All right. So, I mean, obviously, that's very simple with that. But then I start learning how to write with my left hand the same thing, and I can actually feel it in my head. And after a while, if you continuously do this, you want to do this until you don't feel that tingle anymore because you, then you actually know that your brain has computed that information inside your head. So I would do this until I until I didn't feel the tingle anymore because now my brain knows that this is what I want and now it's going to go find its way however it can to give me that information so so doubled on motivation ovational <laughs> So you can see I'm not I see writing with both hands. So so I use this technique a lot of the times. I enjoy it. It's fun. You actually get you have to meditate it almost like a meditating state. You gotta stay into your brain calm, you gotta clear everybody else out. You don't have any distractions. A lot of the time what I did is I used it at work. Maybe just five minutes. I just took a piece of paper or maybe one before I started. And most of the time, I like doing this before I start my day. So if, use it to start your day if you don't have time in the morning when you first get to work. Why don't you use it? Just write down maybe five sentences. Usually, I do a whole entire page, maybe two pages a day. It's, you know, it's for me. I enjoy doing it. But, you know, maybe just write five sentences that you want to accomplish that day. You want to achieve that day write down the goals. This also helps you when you have to make a to-do list schedule. You know, you get in touch with writing so much, you just continuously always write. When you have ideas, you, you don't just keep them in your head. You write them out so you don't lose them, so they don't get lost in your brain. I mean, they'll be there, but, you know, you don't want to have to sort for it. So um, that's also another thing I've learned. I've learned that with with writing your ideas out, you're actually able to hold them, keep them inside your brain longer than just keeping them in your head if it's not that single desire, if it's not that you're just in one with this only only thought and it's just like some great ideas you have, it's better to write it out and then see it, then you kind of keep it in your head, you kind of keep the idea around and you know the idea is there, that's how I use it. So here's another strategy. A lot of people I like use. to use meditation, meditation, sitting down, whether meditation is praying, whether it's, you know, sitting in your yoga position, you know, exercising could be another one. You know, med meditation comes from different areas. It's not just sitting down in one position and staying stuck in there. You can meditate in different things. Meditation, you can do it through music. Whatever you enjoy reading, you can meditate through there, driving your car, finding your meditation spot and and call out your affirmations in the places that you enjoy the most, that you're the most calmest, your most calmest situation. For me, it's with a busy schedule, it's kind of hard to actually just sit down and, you know, fully meditate. Of course, I would love to, but I do it all day. You know, I find different ways how to meditate and call on my desires and keep myself encouraged um, to fulfill those goals. Um, but like I said before is the main thing you want to do is you want to back off of it. You want to back off. You want to put it out there and you back off of it and let your brain, let, let the universe do the things that it needs to be done while you do what you possibly can consciously, your subconscious will do all the rest of the work. The last one I really like to use is, um, talking to yourself. Okay. One thing I learned about talking to yourself, people always talk down on think think people are crazy. When you talk to yourself, you're actually clarifying something with yourself. I used to say this all the time. Who knows yourself better than you? For me, as I learned how talking to yourself is not really a crazy thing. It actually helps you get in one with yourself. And then you start realizing, you start pulling out of information out of yourself that you never even knew that you had in the first place. Your brain starts giving you stuff. And, and honestly, I've actually received a lot of wisdom from myself, 
from my own journey and doing my own thing and learning that, man, the more I'm in contact with myself, the more information I am able to receive. And it's very interesting because the whole journey is about being one with yourself, knowing who you are, knowing, having self-worth, understanding self-value, self-purpose. So when you talk to yourself, this is actually what you're working on. So, I mean, that's a good one. You know, also talk to yourself in the mirror. So if you don't think that is cool, talk to yourself in the mirror. Wake up in the morning, tell yourself something. Talk to yourself. And eventually, it's kind of interesting. Yourself will answer back with some very positive information. It's, um, it's very interesting. So, you know, these, these strategies really do help. Hey, so I hope this video was very helpful for you. And, you know, these are just basic tips that I've learned. So uh, hopefully you can find yours. Everybody's different. Everybody thinks there's a certain amount, a certain way, a certain person you have to follow. Everybody's completely different. We all have different minds, different body styles, different backgrounds, and we all learn a different way. And we all take our affirmations in at a different way. So... I hope this helps you. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's OpenThoughts.com. I'm also on Reverb, Reverb Nation. Got music on there. So follow me there. Uh, Facebook, my Twitter, Blogspot. Follow me. I'll have all these things in the description box at the below. So we thank you and you have a good one.